Zeph, five unbeaten, but for the third time this week, a game you should have won today? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've had a lot of chances. Uh, just not getting a rubber of the green at the minute, um, which, which is a bit unfortunate. Your chance at the end, case in point, off the bar, great strike and millimetres away from giving you the victory. I know, I'm, uh, I'm gutted to be honest. Uh, you know, I'd love to have scored that goal to get off the mark and, and give the lads uh, the win that they deserve. You started sloppily today. I think it's always hard to maintain momentum after so many games. Blemington had a couple of chances, par, uh, post and bar. But once you found your feet, you had plenty of chances yourself. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's kind of a good team, you know. Um, you know we rode our luck at times, but uh, we still managed to get the draw and uh, it bodes well for the future. And like you say, you're really hard to beat at the minute. And if you can't win, you've got to make sure you don't lose. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And I think we've got the right ingredients at the minute. We're hard to break down and we always got a chance of nicking a goal. And since you've been at the club, I don't think we've lost. So you must be the lucky owner. Yeah, I was just saying that to uh, Newey today. I'm, uh, I said I'm a lucky charm. Uh, so hopefully that keeps going. Um, obviously, you've uh, had a few clubs over recent times and you've been playing a bit of international football. How did the move come about? Uh, just uh, I had a chat with the uh, gaffer and uh, he asked me to come down for a game and because uh, I came back from it, uh, the international uh, fixtures and uh, didn't have a game and so I come down and luckily I scored a hat-trick and uh, the rest is history. <laughs> and what's it like jetting off to play international football? How does it compare to the level that you're playing at on a Saturday night? Um, when you play the better teams like Haiti and Trinidad and Tobago and things like that, it's, uh, it's a big step up, you know, because obviously players are playing like in you know, either the Championship or League One and League Two. So it, 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 is, a, it, it is a lot harder when you're playing them type of teams, yeah, but it's, uh, it's a good experience. But for a man that's had a few clubs, you presumably want to put down some roots and this is a real opportunity for you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now uh, it's been a bit stop-start this season because I've been away with the national team. and But now I'm just really looking to settle down with Boston, which is a great club, great fan base. And uh, hopefully I can uh, start getting some minutes on the pitch and doing the business. And when are your next internationals? Are there some more qualifiers coming up? Uh, the World Cup qualifiers start next year, but uh, it just all depends how I'm getting on with Boston early, if I'm scoring goals or if I'm playing. Or, you know, hopefully I can be doing well. And the FA Trophy starts next week, so you sign off for the league for the time being in, in good form. You now play Workington, who are a league below. Um, a good tie on paper. You've now got to make sure it's a good tie on, on the grass. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed to be honest, because I'm, uh, I'm cup tie for that. Um, uh, so I won't be able to play, but I'm sure the lads uh, will get the business done and we'll get a good run going and for the fans and, and, and for the club that they, that they deserve.